Yo, what's going on guys, it's Garrett, and today I'm going to give you guys a Photoshop tip tutorial kind of thing, and I'm going to be going over the pen tool, um, the, like the actual tool in Photoshop, and basically, a lot of people sleep on this, you know, the pen tool is used for a lot of things, like making renders and making a lot of things pop out, um, you guys can do a lot of cool things with this, like cut things out, make things, and you know, I'm going to go over basically a lot of stuff you can do with it, so uh, sit back and enjoy the tutorial, you know, you guys can just watch this and then go out and Photoshop and do it yourself, you guys can do it with me. So uh, basically the first thing I want to show you guys is how to pretty much cut things out with this. You know, it's the most basic, but a lot of people don't understand that you can make objects and not have, you know, let's just say I want to go up and I want to click right here, you know, how it has a curve. Let's just say I didn't want to have the curve. I can make it go straight down. Like a lot of people don't know you can actually do this in Photoshop, like in Illustrator, it's a lot easier, but in Photoshop, there's a couple buttons you have to click. So uh, for Mac users, I really don't know what it's command is and all is and everything like that so I'm gonna be using my windows and I'm gonna be explaining it through windows so I'm pretty sure you guys are probably used to this by now so uh, right here I basically just cut out my logo and I'm gonna show you guys how I did it you know it's really easy and uh, you want to grab the pen tool and let's just say you're gonna zoom into anything you want to cut out and you want to click just with the top left hand corner and start there and you guys are gonna work from the top left to the top right and then like a little circle and you want to just take it and you want to pretty much just click somewhere and then just drag it along until you guys can have this little white line right here pretty much cut everything off and then you're gonna have this big white kind of um i don't know what to call this more of a uh, a helper you guys can move it back and forth and stuff and if you just leave it there and you click somewhere it's gonna drag off that helper into the logo so let's say i want to click right here you know i'm gonna have this big kind of droop so to get past this, all I want to do is hit, hold the alt key, and if you go over that anchor point you made, there's going to be a little kind of a up arrow, or an upside down V. Just click that, and the whole right side goes away. And then you guys can click right here, and then kind of drag it out, same thing, hold alt, click it, and then you guys can pretty much just do the same thing for the rest. So the best thing is when you're doing this is to zoom in just because you guys can get a, a better view of everything. You guys can see that white line a lot better. And plus it's just a lot easier when you guys are all like zoomed in. And then for the last part, you're just going to go like this and finish it off. So let's just say you're done now. You have the whole kind of logo you want to pen tool, it's just pen tooled out. And now you want to cut it out. What you want to do is right click and there's going to be a make a selection tab. And what this is going to do is going to make a uh, dotted line around everything. And this is going to be so you guys can cut things out and you know, subtract it from everything. Make sure the feather bit radius is on zero. And then you're going to have this. So obviously now you guys can hit like control X or control C, control V. I'm just going to hit control J so I can duplicate it and show you guys that it just pops out. So uh, not only can you do that, but you guys can do a lot of different things. Let's just say you're going to click one path. You guys can just right click with the pen tool and you guys can go to create vector mask. Um, delete the path is basically deleting what you just put down. Um, you guys can make custom shapes, um, guides, strokes, fills, clipping masks, and stuff like that. So for the fill, let's just say you want to make a bandana around this guy. It's going to be a really bad bandana. Pretty much just go like this, hold your alt key, click there, and go like that. So then you after this, you want to connect those dots together, right? And then you're going to go to right click. So now that you have the whole entire thing enclosed by those dots, if you right click, there's going to be a fill path right here. And right here is when you guys can change anything. You can change it from a gradient to a pattern and everything like that. I usually just click color and then make it whatever color I want. And then obviously blending mode is going to be normal and 100% opacity. Hit OK. And then you got a bandana, right? So that's basically, you know, you guys can fill stuff in. So I'm going to just leave that there. And then let's just say you want to add a nice kind of ring around this. So basically the pen tool can do exactly that. You make a new layer, you're going to put it above everything, and you're going to click, let's just say, behind the logo. And you're going to click like, under it, and you're going to bring that loop out. You're going to click right here, and maybe even bring it down a little bit. So it looks like a kind of a... Uh, a little sideways s and then you want to click right here on your little brush and you want to go down to a size that you're comfortable with you know i think around three or four for making kind of these kind of things look good and then you guys can put the hardness to zero or a one or ten you know whatever floats your boat i'm gonna put mine in zero right click stroke path 
and make sure it's on your brush. If you put it on your eraser, you'll erase it, pencil, pencils, gonna be the pencil mark, and then everything else is kind of self-explanatory. So you guys have this. So basically it's gonna change the color to whatever your foreground color is. So let's just say I take it away, I wanna make my foreground colors a nice kind of light blue. I'm gonna stroke the path and make sure it's a brush and it's gonna pop up. Maybe take my eraser a little bit and then, you know, erase it so it looks like it's coming out like that. Maybe erase the middle so it has that kind of transparent look. And then you guys can have kind of a little uh, ring around things. So you guys can see the pen tool is very important when you're designing stuff. Um, what else is there? You know, right click, you guys can make unit shapes, subtract front shape. A lot of these things help you basically make things. So let's just say we're gonna grab, I'm gonna just put the high these things. And we're gonna just go over here. And you wanna make just like letters and stuff. You can practice and you guys can hit this and then if you're holding shift, the shift key can make a lot of things. You guys can make perfect horizontal shapes. You can do perfectly vertical and then if you hold shift and then go all diagonally and you click, it'll make a perfect side cut. So basically these things really help you out when you're doing things. You know, you can fill the path and then you have like a perfect triangle right here or close to a perfect triangle. And what the difference between this pen tool right here and the uh, the tool a lasso tool or the polygon lasso tool is that you can't make kind of angular shapes like you're gonna have choppy angles um that's really it for the pen tool itself on um, there's free forms there's add anchor points delete anchor points and uh, the delete anchor points I'm pretty sure if I just click like this if I click on the delete anchor point and I click one of these it just goes away you know if I want to add an anchor point I can add it right here and I can just drag this out maybe bring this one down and I'll bring this one over here so you guys can do a lot of things with the pen tool you know I don't want to make this tutorial so boring for you guys but a lot of people don't know how to use this and it's actually a very useful technique you know you guys are gonna need to use the pen tool for making logos like this one right here you guys are gonna need it if you're doing personal logos for anybody else and uh, it's pretty much getting renders out you know if we hop over to Google this will be my last example and we'll just type in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare All right go to images and then you guys can obviously look around, you know, grab whatever you want. Let's just say we're going to cut someone out. You can do this with the polygon tool. I mean, you can, but it's not going to look as nice. So I'm just going to cut out the top of his head. So you just grab the regular pen tool and then start clicking the angles that you see like this. You know, obviously the round ones are going to have to be round, and since you learned how to use your alt key, you can delete that extra point that it's going to make. So, you guys can see that I'm just pretty much following the exact lines. You know, a lot of people get like, really scared putting a lot of pen tool down, and you know, it does take time, but... Let's just say we're going to end it at the beginning of this gun. You guys can see, if you zoom in a lot, you guys can see that the, how the angles go straight down or pop up. And we'll finish right here. And now I just go up, and then I'll finish it off where I started, make selection, and then I'll just delete it. You know, you guys can see that if I zoom out, it does, you can see a little bit of a white stroke around it. You guys can easily clean that up with the little eraser. But it does indeed, you know, help you make renders. It does indeed help you do a lot of things. So the pen tool is really a unique thing. And it's very helpful if you guys learn how to do it. I don't want to make a tutorial so boring for you guys. But I know people are going to need to learn it. And people need to know about it. So uh, I'm going to try to keep the daily upload spree going on. You know, I've been grinding to get everything done. It's like... 12:55 in the afternoon you know i haven't slept yet so i'm probably gonna go pass out after this after i upload it but other than that i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did leave a thumbs up in the description below is going to be my snapchat you guys can go add there's going to be a, a video submission form you guys can submit your own video ideas and stuff like that so uh, other than that hope you guys had a nice summer and hope you guys have a nice day and i'll see you later on peace out